What's going on, people? Welcome to this week's episode of the Flex and Ranch Show. How you doing, Ranch? Good? Yeah, all good, bro. We're back for some more real talk. Now the official club season has come to an end. Everything's been decided. Mm. Europa League final's been decided. Champions League final's been decided. And um, yeah, Liverpool are victorious. I, I want to start off, though, this show. Yeah. Talk, let's talk Solskjaer. Let's talk about... Is he out of his depth in terms of can he actually compete with Pep and Klopp, even with money? Yeah. Can he do that? Or are they actually just better coaches than him yep. and he will never be able to catch them? Like, where, where, where do you stand on that? Because it's hard, isn't it? We still it, need it to... It depends how much team. money we're talking. You know the ones there? Because you can't tell me that if you give this guy 11 good players, he's not going to get something out of him. But I do, yeah, yeah, but I think that tactically, yeah, like he... Yeah, he's not on their level. He's not, do you know mm. what I mean? He, I don't know, I find his coaching comes a bit from the old school. Do you know what I mean? He coaches how he was coached kind of thing. Yeah. Like, that's always a worry, isn't it? You like he's trying to do the Sir Alex yeah, thing or like, the Mick yeah, thing or that's the what I mean. Mullenstein thing like, or he, he, He's a very, like, he coaches very, like, it's very English. Even though he's a foreign manager, like, it doesn't feel like that. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, there's just, I don't know, there's not much culture to the football that he tries to play. There's no... Like, I don't understand it, bro. Like, mm. you know is that I mean? because of as well his CV? Like he's been molder. Like, yeah, for, but what, I don't even. Years, I don't even think thing. it's just that, bro. Because even when you look well? at Derby, yeah, like Jody Morris, yeah, has got these men playing some decent football, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? Man, mm. think it's Frank Lampard, yeah. But Jody Morris is the coach, bro. He done bits with Chelsea's um, youth, youth team, team yeah. and he's gone at Derby, and he's got these men playing some cultured football, bro. We're not playing that. Mm. Do you know what I mean? You can't tell me that Derby got better ballers than us because they don't. Do you see what I'm saying? Mm. So. I think that the coach has to take some responsibility for that. I think the counter-attacking football, yeah, the high, the high, the high-paced football. I think that it puts the onus on the other team, bro. I don't like that. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Mm. I like possession-based football. I always have because if if you have the ball, the other team can't score. That's always been my mm. it's always been my theory, and that's why the LVG football. I didn't really mind it. It was up until the final third when it started to wind me up when yeah. we got to the final it was third, two passes and then man were going pass, backwards pass, and yeah, sideways. Yeah. Whereas in the final third, that's when you break the lines. Mm. But up until the final third, I thought under LVG we are we are amazing, bro. Mm. We never let any team come anywhere near us and do us anything. Know what I mean? We were always on the front mm. foot. There was we no had the ball. Product, yeah, you see what I'm saying? Third. But this now the football I'm seeing where we're letting teams run through us and that. Brother, I think that's down to the coaching, man. And when you look at the other coaches that we've spoken about, let's fuck the, the final off because that was the worst passing display I've ever seen mm. from Liverpool. That Liverpool were uncharacteristically yeah. bad. And, that was and, the worst they Spurs, were. Spurs, they were very sloppy. Yeah. But in general, those teams, yeah, plus Man City, they keep the ball well. That's yeah. one thing you can guarantee. We don't do that. Mm. It will improve once we have better players, for mm. sure. And, a tr and, and time to work on these yeah. things. But if yeah. all four of these managers have a similar level of player, social ranks at the bottom, mm. you can't even and argue. I, and you know what? I, I, you can't argue because the track records don't lie. Um, you look at um, Pochettino. Um, he was in Spain, obviously, first, earned his craft. Then he's come to St. Mary's in Southampton and progressed them where we could clearly see a yeah. style and think, wow, look what this guy's done with Southampton at this level in the Premier League. Mm. Klopp, same thing. He's earned his stripes in the Dortmund side. He's yeah. won things with the Dortmund against a very competitive Bayern very Munich side. Pep Guardiola is Pep Guardiola. We don't even need to talk about that. Yep. And you do look at Oli out of them and say, his credentials are nowhere near these guys. If anyone guys. says anything different than this. Yeah, can... but I think we, we, we're as United fans, yes, we, we got sucked in, obviously, with the great run of form that we went on. But more so than that, we're buying into Oli, I think, not only because we have to, because he's our manager and we've, we've backed him and stuff, but still, more so still the Alec because he understands. Yeah, right? it's kind of, we're actually, the main selling point of Solskjaer is that he understands the club or he yeah. understands how we should play. He understands what it takes to make, to be successful as a player at this club. So that will be good for our players. It's not actually based on managerial it's not. accomplishments or achievements, even though I suppose you deserve to get a chance at some time at the highest level, so only time will tell, because yeah. he could prove us all wrong and find a way. He could find his, his niche of how he wants to play, his identity, what he wants us to do, which he's been saying he has that. Time will tell. We can't, we can't sit here and say he's wrong or he's right right now, because we haven't seen it. We haven't seen a transfer window slam shut yet. We don't know what we're ending up with, and we haven't obviously started the Premier League season 10, 15 games but in. This is why the argument for a DOF here that used to be a player, yeah? mm. like, that's fine. Because all the reasons why you're saying why men are backing Solskjaer, that's the reason why I would back a DOF that mm. was an ex-player, because they understand what it takes. Yeah. They've been there, they understand the level. Mm. But 
with the manager, it's a different argument. Do you know what I'm saying? And that's the thing. Like, I think in recruitment, like Oli, like, the reason why I think Oli will recruit well is because he, he's played in an elite Manchester United team. He sat in the dressing room, looked around and said, you know what? These are, these are the calibre <laughs> yeah. of man. Even when yeah. we watched the Legends game, yeah? These are the calibre of man, yeah? That we need to be having yeah. in our changing room. Do you know what I mean? None of these journeymen footballers. Mm. A lot of these men, once we get rid of them, yeah, they're not going to be nowhere near Champions League football ever again. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, that's their level. Like, we get rid of them. Like, once Matic goes, he's gone, bruv. Man's Europa League, cuz. Do you know what I'm saying? Once he goes, like, his level's Crystal Palace once mm. he goes. Yeah, these are what? average guys. Do you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, like, this is where it is at that age and all of that. Them men are looking at these dead teams now. So, we need to be sitting in, like our old team, we used to look around and have captains everywhere, bro. Mm. International captains everywhere. We you have know. no leaders. We got no leaders, bruv. Like all of these men used to captain their sides, yeah. Like even the Darren Fletchers of this world, bruv. Like we looked around the dressing room, every man wore armband for their country. Scott McTominay might for Scotland. Yeah, he, might, you know, he will eventually. <laughs> yeah, he will. Do you know what I mean? But we looked around. Yeah. You know what I'm Did saying? We had leaders, They man. were either we captains or vice captains. We had yeah. Bex, we had Neville. Do you know what I mean? All these men wore armbands, mm. bruv. Kino wore armbands. And if they armband. wasn't, they bought Kino, into the players yeah. that were. Kino wore armband. Do you know what I mean? All the mm. men were wearing armbands, bro. And then now we just got like a bunch of journeymen. Giggsy wore an armband as well. Mm. Like you just go through the team, bruv. Mm. Do you know what I mean? How are three of our midfield four wearing armbands for their countries? Mm. That's what we used to have. With that now, because when you look at Oli saying that he wants to change the profile of players, so you could argue he wants to get younger, fresh players, players that got potential in there yeah. to grow. We probably aren't looking to go out and buy ready-made players. Ready -made players, like leaders, people with armbands, like you say, if you're because of willing, how he wants which to... Which is fine if you're willing to give Oli three years like Liverpool gave Klopp. Yeah. And I don't think he's going to get that at our club, bro, because the fans are already like looking at him. Mm. And I, I, I understand why. Mm. Like, as I said with um, LVG, yeah, his, his credentials, yeah, gave, for me, gave him time bruv like the reason why like at the beginning when things weren't looking too great the reason mm. why i said you know what you lean let's on it. see yeah because i've seen what man's won do you know yeah. what i mean your even jose to a certain yeah, and extent, jose as thing. well yeah, yeah. jose lasted as long as he did only because of his credentials because he was doing worse than david moyes at one point <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, but he because was. man's credentials were there people yeah. were saying but look what he's done yeah ollie doesn't have that cushion of mm. look what he's done it's just going to be straight away see yeah, Knew he was never, good, never enough. good enough. This is what happens when you get a manager who relegated Cardiff and went to Mould for three years. This is you it. can see it already, you isn't it? You can see it, bruv. It's yeah. already written, yeah. It's in the drafts. Yeah. And ready, to, ready, ready to be sent. Do yeah. you see what I'm saying? And that is that is the really big thing about this because there's so much pressure with where we are right now. I mean, there's 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 two signs that look, if you're a glass half full or a glass half empty, you can go, do you know what? I'm half full. And at the moment it's exciting. I know my team's gonna be buying players, I know we're currently in the market. It's never been more evident how much players we need. Yeah. Um, you could look at it exciting because you're going to see a whole bunch of new faces. Yeah. If you're half full or realist or more sensible or however you look at it, whichever you want to define it, yeah. you could go, mm, actually, this is a manager who we probably shouldn't have given the job to, in some people's opinion. This is a manager who has very limited experience compared to the other managers he's trying to catch. Yeah. This is a manager where such a good point you made, if it goes horribly wrong in the first 10 games of this season he could be in some serious trouble and like you said there won't be a whole just I've seen him come out of this kind of period before don't worry yeah. it'll be fine there isn't that it's there's no optimism nah. it's straight get him out but the board rants with who Solskjaer is to the club I know there's not a lot of room for sentiment in football and you shouldn't always make decisions on heart you could argue we've already made one in appointing him yeah. that's a different argument only time will tell but is do you think our board would actually ax him if it was going very wrong very early on yeah and and look to I do, kill that because or he doesn't do have the cushion and also his compensation package won't be huge yeah whereas uh, jose's was because mm. of his stature so they had to keep waiting he's easy to away, get rid of. Away, you see when um thingy brought in santi solari and that yeah the reason why you could bring in brez like that yeah like real madrid is because you know you can ax them quick yeah bring man in like and just get rid of them bro mm. like because you know it's not going to cost you a couple mil like his, his um, compensation package is not going to be 14 million like mm. Mourinho's it's going to be two or three so you can sack man that's mm. that's chump change mm. you see what I'm saying so like this I think that it's not it's a situation with the club where it's not really that bad like if it doesn't work out with with Oli like early on they mm. can chop man they can chop would him. you and would you I'm, I'm not trying to put you on the spot but I know you're never shy of being on the spot and say what you think there's two questions I want to ask you. If that happened, 
and I hate to be pessimistic, I'm only just thinking worst case scenario here, guys, yeah? If we started the game and, I don't know, you saw how we ended the, like, the season, what was it, 12 games and it was like two wins or something yeah. stupid like that, or 10 games, two wins. If we started the season how we ended it, would you make a change? Yeah, like absolutely. two months into the season? Yeah, absolutely, I would. Because I know that we're going to recruit well. I know that. Like, so there should the, be no sign, the signs are the signs are very good, innit? Mm. Like, do you know what I mean? Rabio on a free have to get him. Mm. I don't care. Mm. He's the player that the man think matters. Is mm. do you know what I mean? I saw Adam tweet something today, and he was like, "I'm very wary of players when they go on a free transfer." And I was like, "No, nah, you don't need to be." At the end of the day, yeah, the media do a lot with footballers, yeah, and make out that this player's got this attitude and that attitude. But the, the bottom line is, they're human beings, yeah. If someone's not happy, they're not happy. We don't mm. know what the reasons are. Mm. Like also, no player's happy when they're not playing football. Mm. You know what I mean? They're environment what, change, you know, personnel change, team change, and, and environment they could be happy, change, yeah. a team change, a We've change of responsibility. You could see it, bruv. Rabio like is at an age now where he comes to Manchester United, he's gonna be one of the focal points instead of being at a team like PSG where he was just one of many mm. stars that they kept trying to bring in. Mm. That could be what he needs. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? That like, sometimes players Fits to be just, on a lot of ways. Yeah. Potential, room oh, to grow, pace. hungry. He got pace, he can yeah. dribble, do you know Passes what I mean? Good. He can pass, yeah. he can do everything, bruv. And he will be like he will be a big player. Mm. You know what I mean? He won't be a bit part sitting on the bench, not making the squad. He's gonna be a focal point. So you feel like because the recruitment will probably be right, we're saying this now, we, no, could, it'll be better. we could be here in five it'll weeks. Be better. No. Transfer with him, me and you are like, what? Has nah, gone on? Bro, Liverpool but because of the Champions that, League as well. Nah, cut. You feel like that's what will make you make a change though. Flash, because bro. that 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 wouldn't be uh, there. That, that won't be that, there, um, bruv. If the reason. players are there and yeah. we're still not playing better football, you can only blame the manager. Yeah. You can only blame the manager. I still think, yeah, that tactically, yeah, like our management ain't getting the best out of um, the players that we have. I said mm. the same under Maureen, yeah, and I'd argue that even under Oli, the run yeah. that we went on as well, like the players are better than that, yeah. than, the, than the results that oh we got. Oh my God, yeah. They are. But how much of they it are. was them as well going, do you it, know what? It is them, but I'm the thing is, but the how thing much is, of them? footballers, yeah, players, do what they're told bro like i can't keep expressing this enough bro players do what they're told there's mm. a reason why under other managers yeah like lesser players are looking better because mm. they do what they're told blood there's mm. been many instances of players leaving arsenal yeah going to the likes of barcelona and just not looking good bruv because the system in which that Wenger plays and that just made them look better mm. there's so many players that hey, look just at Coutinho look, going to Barcelona look, well there you go same thing they and don't know where to play he's playing with better players but he doesn't look like yeah, a better he's player he's not quite in the final third as a winger but he's not he's can't he's because he's an eight bruv in the, in the, in the central yeah. field with how they want to play it just doesn't fit into their style there's talks of him coming back and he's flopped this is it so yeah. Just because you're playing with better players, that doesn't mean you're going to look a better player. Yeah, absolutely. Do you know what I'm saying? So, with all of that in mind, mm. I know that a better coach yeah. would have these men kicking ball better. I know that LVG, yeah, if he had this, this set of players instead of the set of players that he had, we would be playing better football than we played back then. For sure, bruv. Do you, you know reckon? what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. By the time we, did, we didn't have a Pogba the, the, the though the in midfield. Yeah, we didn't have a right. Pogba. He, we didn't have a Pogba. He, he had Memphis there, didn't he? Yeah, we had Memphis, he yeah. Had, he had Di Maria on our Yeah, but Di Maria bottled it, blood. But Falcao was dead out, blood. He couldn't play in the Premier. He even went to Chelsea and died as well. So it wasn't just us. So it's a bad buy. He, he, he wanted him. He sold Danny Welbeck and said, I've got Falcao, I don't need yeah, anyone Yeah, but come else. on, when he sold he Welbeck, everyone was happy. Do you know what I mean? Everyone was happy we sold Welbeck. Mm. Yeah, the, Falcao on paper, yeah. Seemed like a good signing. Yeah, he couldn't do it in England, but then he went back and done it in France. That shows yeah. you the levels and the difference of levels in the league. But the bottom line is, yeah, we didn't have a Paul Pogba creative outlet. We just simply didn't have it. We were playing mm. with Morgan Schneider and then Bastian, brother. He was an old man. He never had a match right, on Pogba. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So he didn't have that. And we still, like, we kept the ball even with them lesser players. Mm. He had Chris Smalling looking like a, a proper centre back. You know Darmian saying? was playing good that Darmian season was and Rojo. Darmian was playing wavy as well and Darmian Rojo. And Rojo yeah. Because the system, bro, because they were coached, innit? And, and they did obviously. And they just did exactly yeah. what they were told. And that's what it is. Footballers are like that. It's just like when you're in the army, bro. You're not a vigilante, fam. Mm. Like, you have orders. You go out there and you, you do what you're taught to do. So what you're seeing on the pitch every week can only be what's going on in the training ground, bro. Players don't go on and control their own destinies on the pitch. Mm. They don't, innit? So because of that, the coaches have to take some responsibility for the shit football, yeah. for the fact man can't keep the ball. Because I'm sure in training in little two-touch games, most of these men look amazing, bro. Mm. I'm sure of it. But they can't do it collectively as, as a unit there you go. for 90 minutes And that well. comes down to coaching. Yeah. When you're pressing as a unit, that comes down to coaching. Yeah. How do you know what zones to press in, all these other things? That comes from drilling, 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 drilling. And we are, drilling. And we are all over the place in that sense because you see 
one player will go and press like a Sanchez. He's yeah. running around like a blue ass fly trying to press by himself because he's just that guy who likes to run around and do that. Or you might see Rashford go and try and press, but it's not it's not in groups, it's, it's not, not in waves. It's not collective. And it, do, and it, doesn't, it doesn't work. It's it very easy it to play around being, a press if only two players press. That shows it as it's not being drilled. And yeah. if it is being drilled, it's not being drilled effectively. And again, you know, yeah. if we're going on the, cl- uh, the glass half full theory, you could say that, you know what? The games were coming thick and fast. There wasn't that really that big amount of time for Oli to address these things because it literally was sometimes twice two games a week. The games coming thick and fast, and we I were getting so. we were getting far in all the competitions as well as yeah. well as the Premier League. And then we found ourselves. Hang on a minute. Oh, we're knocking on door top four. It was eleven points off this. There wasn't enough time for Oli and the team to to strip it all down and say, "I hate the way we do this. I hate the way we do that. Yeah. We're playing a whole different way." I I, I understand. I, I that. believe that because that's unrealistic for him Coaching. to go in halfway through a season where the games are that intense and and that regular to just go. Actually, we're going to start playing out from the back. But you, 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 yeah. you, you know I mean? even you at the beginning, I did yeah, say, yeah. I said, Oli didn't have enough time to implement yeah. new strategies. All yeah. he did was give the players a little bit of confidence and we started winning games. So really, the question marks are still there. The question it's, marks it's are whether still there. we come through this pre-season, yeah. do we see a difference? I mean, I'm going to be there um, July the 13th against Perth Glory in Australia. And I know it's only a pre-season game, but it will tell us a lot because I'm going to be looking for... What differences can I see? Yeah, change Evident. of shape. Change of shape. When we have goal kicks, how do we set up? From free kicks, from corners, what are we doing? How, what is our pattern of play? How quick do we recover the ball? All these things I'm going to be looking at. And you'll be looking at as, as United fans. And that, I think, are the questions that will, will be answered, isn't it? Absolutely. Will be answered. Would you prefer, because the season, fi- the fixtures come out on June the 13th, mm-hmm. would you prefer a difficult start to get some hard, harder games out of the way early on in the season. You know, there's that. I know all points amount to something at the end of the season. You yeah. look back and say, if we didn't lose that game on the second game of the season, could have, but sometimes it's kind of better to get the difficult games out of the way early where everyone's kind of close together within the league. Or would you prefer an easy start? Let's get a, or a favourable start. I would like a favourable start, brother. I really would. Get some confidence going. Yeah, absolutely, brother. And then get a bit of rhythm. Do you know what I'm saying? Because if you're getting slapped early on, yeah, brother, it fucks with the rhythm, the confidence. Do you know what I mean? Mm. And the thing is, you're happy to go in to a tough game on a decent run of form. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, you yeah. go in and you've got like, what, six wins out of seven and mm. uh, going into like a tough away game. Yeah, you'll mm. take that. I mean, you don't want your first game of the season to be City away, bro. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Well, I'm, I'm, I say that because the reason why I ask say, you oh, that, it's a good time to play them. Man. Well, yeah, nah. you could say. It's never a good time to play Man City, bro. But I, the reason why I posed you that question is because I know it went to shit for Arsenal in the end after that 22 game unbeaten run. Mm. But they had a tough start. They lost both games. They had City at home, then Chelsea away. Yeah. Possibly, arguably, they, they, uh, maybe you might swap Liverpool for Chelsea. It's arguably the hardest start you could possibly have. Yeah, yeah. If you do get them two games out of the way, and then they had, they had almost like. 20 games that were like, oh, we yeah. should really win. And it helped them yeah. at that time. Maybe, maybe maybe, we could do with that. Nah, I don't know. I don't know, bro. You'd rather just a Burnley, then a Newcastle, then a Crystal I'd Palace. I'd rather, I'd rather a, do that. Do you know what I mean? I'd much rather United, do that. I'd rather just a get, car, a bit of, get a momentum, do you know what I'm saying? Going yeah, into yeah. these things, get a bit of confidence. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And also, like with the new players bedding in as well. Yeah. Like, good, yeah, good yeah, I don't want to throw them straight in the cold. <laughs> straight room, to the Etienne, you know, there you go, Daniel the Boom. Bro, I've loved it. And then to Anfield and that. Yeah, all right. Yeah. No thanks. Okay, fair enough. No, I hear what you're saying. Let us know what you lot think. Would you prefer a very difficult start, get the hard ones out of the way early, and then when everyone else is playing hard games midway through the season, we've got favourable games around Christmas time? Or would you prefer um, an easier start? Let they us do know. say it all evens itself out. It does, it does. But it does. I just, I don't know, psychologically, yeah. I think it's good to start the season on a positive note, you know? Yeah, I think Especially with how we, how ended, we ended it, it bruv. Oh. I, 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 do you know what? Imagine we go back to just taking L's yeah. back there, bruv. It feels like the, worst, the season never ended. And the worst thing is, yeah, exactly. And the worst <laughs> thing is, if, if, you're taking, if you do draw a Liverpool, a City away, a Tottenham away early early doors in your, in your fixture list and you lose them, no one ain't going, yeah, but they have played Liverpool. Everyone's yeah, just going, ah, yeah. you're still shit, see yeah, you. They're saying, oh, and you're in just, the relegation zone. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I said to Arsenal after their first two games last year. Um, let's talk transfers. I yeah. want to talk about a player um, who featured in the French squad alongside Pogba earlier on this week, um, Tungai Ndombele. Um, of Leon, he's I've been basically saying that saying, he would have been my number one midfield target. He's been basically saying he's def- almost certainly leaving Leon. They've yeah. pretty much confirmed that. Um, you saw how he's played alongside Pogba, but take Pogba out the equation. Let's just concentrate on the player and Dombele. I mean, he's been linked with us for a long time. 
you think there's a chance we could get him? You think, you think I, we're I, actually I, looking I, at him? I, I, I don't. Him? I don't. You know what? I want him, and because I want him, I know that we're probably not going to get him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's like? always the way we do. He was my first choice, yeah, midfield signing, bruv. I said, if I had two guys, I'll sign him and Ruben Neves, bruv. Yeah. And Dombele is the perfect box to box foil, yeah. Pivot, he's for sick, Pogba, yeah. like yeah. the perfect one. It means that Pogba don't have to do the striding donkey work. He can just focus on creating, and mm. Dombele will do that box to box. And he carries the ball. He passes. Does it, bro? He's brilliant. How much do you think gets him? I reckon he'll go for like sixty million euros. Like not a lot, bro. Mm. Like do you know what I mean? In this current yeah, climate, like yeah. not a lot. Like it's worth it, but it'll probably end up at a Bayern Munich or something like that. Mm. That's what I think. You know what he, I, mean? he, he I don't think he'll end up at another Premier League team, but I would, I would buy him. I'd buy him and I'd get Rabiot on a free. Mm. And if you get them two, yeah, for the price of one, two mm. bad men and they got three Frenchmen in the middle, are you mad? Bro? The Rabiot situation is an interesting one, isn't it? Because mm. I know you touched on it slightly earlier, yeah. but we'll talk about him now in a bit more depth as a player. I mean. You know, it was his mum was his agent one time, and then he had a falling out with her, and he's been in bad press, throwing his toys out the pram. And people say, similar to the Icardi thing, don't get this guy. His attitude's all over the place. But like you said earlier, it's about surroundings, it's about new challenges, it's about. But also, how you, you feel. need a bit of personality in the dressing room because you know what? If you got a few bad men in there, yeah, <laughs> all of a sudden in games when you got Icardi sticking it on centre backs and you got Rabiot just on man, yeah, it adds a bit. Do you know what I mean? It adds a bit because their man are too nice, bro. Our team's just soft. Yeah, we need a few soft, bad men in soft. our team. We need a Cantona. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. We need like a Zlatan. Well, people used to like them yeah. players back before. Them bro, nasty, horrible the players. Nasty ones. The closest one we had to it is Herrera. Well. Yeah. The closest one. He was and, just niggling at people's ankles. Soft. And that's he was not just even... a dirty player. Yeah. He was a dirty player, but yeah, exactly. he was soft, innit? Yeah, he like, Keane was man up. Yeah, he was a dirty player. Yeah, he was soft, innit? 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 Yeah, Like, do you know what I mean? We need a bastard in the team, bro. I'll take Arcadi and I'll take Rabiot, bro, because we need a few men that are just out there to win. They don't care. They'll say and do whatever they want, bro, just to get the W fam. Yeah. Like, I'm on that. We need a bit of that. We need more fight in the team. We need more bastards in the team. All these nice guys, bro, mm. just want to take pictures on that. Like, there's, a, there's, a, there's a question. I'm not going to tell you what it is actually, but you spoke about having them free all from France in the midfield. Yeah. There is a question that will, when we hit the question section, um, I will ask it, but it, that is very fitting to what you're just saying. It'll be interesting to see what you say. I want to ask you about another bit of transfer uh, gossip slash rumours slash bollocks, <laughs> whichever way you want to talk about it. Real Madrid. Pogba, yeah? Supposedly offer three players. Kayla Navas, the keeper. Yeah. Bale. Yeah. And I think the other one is... is No, Ham Rodriguez. How much Rodriguez? Them three for Paul Pogba. Say that again? So, there's rumours. The rumors. goalkeeper, The yeah. goalkeeper, yeah. Kayla Navas. Yeah. Decent keeper. Yeah. Bale. Yeah. And um, James. James. Would, no, would you thank do, you. Would you do that for Pogba? Nah, bro. You can... <laughs> Fuck off, blood. You know what I mean? Your butterfingers keeper, yeah? Fucking Hammers, blood. He ain't done nothing since the World Cup, bruv. How many years ago was that? Yeah, you it was man like 2016. You man si signed 14. him to sell shirts, blood. Some joke thing. And we're going for Gareth Bale, blood. No thanks. You know what I'm saying? I'll take him on loan, bruv, for free. I won't pay no money for that guy. And I definitely wouldn't give you Paul Pogba. You can fuck right off. Man, I'm not taking your taking your leftovers, bro. It's a new era. Do you know what I mean? We can't be seen as a serious team if we're going into man's reserves to take ballers. I'm taking man from your starting eleven. I think it just proves if that was to happen, for my say, just proves that it's the graveyard thing. Just yeah. how we was linked with Godin and Boateng yeah. last season. I'm not having that. Like, if we want to move forward, we need players of that have potential and are young and are hungry. And if what, they're not, he, what, what, and if we're not I getting those players, that, yeah. we need to get proven world class ready to bang there like Griezmann. Now. And, and like you said, those though, are the only guys on the bail thing. Though yeah. it only makes sense if it's. Uh, like a loan yep. that pays wages or whatever and you yep. can gamble might have the option to buy at the end of the year that's the only if way I want Bale fit, anyway because yeah. you don't know if he's going to stay fit well, you if you buy Bale won't. you need to buy another winger just in yeah, case yeah exactly you just have to assume so go and get Daniel James yeah. one Welshman and then get his other compatriot in Bale I'll be happy on a loan I'll be happy yeah. with that because I think Bale would have to come for a year and prove something to us yes he definitely would have yeah. to because I'm not as ignorant as to say Bale is shit now and he can't, you know. Still, bro, he, he, he saw that he overhead still, kick he bagged Do you know what I'm saying? You don't do that if you, if you haven't got anything about you. And I do think we know how we speak about challenges and headspaces. That I do could think be another one he, he definitely doesn't feel loved at Real Madrid. He's mm. fallen out of favour with the fans. Dan said he's not been in his plans for ages. Dissed him on the last game of the season, didn't even bring him on. Yeah. Um, so I do think you'll be, you'll, be, you'll be ignorant and a bit of naivety to say he's dead out here. But to spend that kind of money in yeah. terms of 100 plus, can't do it. Four year contract, 550 grand a week, that is wrong for me. I think you need to get him on the, say to Real Madrid, we'll loan him for a year. 
you pay half his wages, we'll see how it goes. And then after that, we'll give you 40 million if he, if he, if he turns up or 50. But other than that, no. And, I, and I, I agree with you with that because we don't want this to be a fucking old folks retirement home, which is what yeah. it could turn into. So let's hit up the question section right about now. All right, questions, here we go, man. Yo. First one, stop looking. Stop trying to look, man. Let me see what you like. All right, this one is from, oh, so many numbers in the ads, man. I'm just gonna say at Paolo, because you've got too many numbers there. Does the delay of announce, announcing the new director of football worry you, especially considering the work that needs to be done? Good question, thanks for that. It don't worry me, because I believe that something's happening. Do you know what I mean? And I just think that, you know what these men are like, they like to do things dramatically. You know <laughs> the ones there, so don't be surprised. And that's a signing and a DOF so, yeah, on the same day. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? It'll be Eric Cantona or something, standing next to a new signing or something. They're going to do something dumb like that. You know it. Mm. United can't do nothing small time. Everything's a drama show, blood. So, mm. the DOF will get announced in spectacular fashion. What, you think we're just going to brief the press with a rip? Nah, come on, it's Ed, innit? Yeah. You, you know that, innit? Man's going to come down on a chopper, blood. Like, but imagine one matter, our first signing. Yeah, I know, bro. man, you know, flew in. in the no, no, helicopter, yeah. blood. Oh, no. You see what like I mean? Like, like, why, bro? Like, do you know what I mean? It's one matter, blood. He's only like, coming from London, down, from Chelsea, bro. He should have got out the M6. fucking train, bro. <laughs> no, no, even, you know what I mean? Yeah, straight from Houston. He'd yeah, have been there bro. an hour and a half. Yeah, I mean, bloody hell, bro. You know, like, I'm oh. telling you, something will happen, innit? They'll do it in dramatic fashion. Yeah. Like someone will sign a contract and then you'll see them standing there behind them with the pen and you'll be like, oh shit, oh like, shit, that's real, what's he doing? You know what I mean? Like, something booky like that, but something's happening, I'm okay. sure. Um, second question, this is from Musab, again, too many numbers after that, so apologies for that. Do you think Dilip will come and how about Juan Bissaka? I've it's, got to say on this, but I'll let you go Dilip's first. coming, bro. You, you still think it's that? coming, I don't care, bro. I feel it. I feel it in my bones, blood. You know why I feel it? Because it's like, if he wasn't coming, he wouldn't be coming with all that cryptic shit, blood. Yeah, and when Barcelona are trying to say, oh, yeah, yeah, we don't want him and that, but you want him, blood. Yeah. You want and even, him. even United coming out and saying they're not, you know, I think this is United smart are doing it. Just, United are distancing so themselves they so the they can do a little dramatic thing at the end yeah. of some, boom. I do think he wants to go Barcelona, though. And I, 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 think, I, don't, I don't think he wants to go Barcelona. Think? I don't. Why know? would he not? You know why, bro? Why because. Not? He's at a stage now where, like, he's the poster boy of Dutch football. He needs guaranteed football. It's you not guaranteed. That, no, it's not there, guaranteed, bro. Bro, bro. Not, bro, they bought centre backs last season. Umtiti will probably leave. All right, they got yeah, Langley and PK. Bro, didn't you see but... the video of Umtiti, yeah, when the, the French players were winding him up saying, man was linked with Arsenal and he was laughing and that, blood. <laughs> that is, that is, <laughs> bro, I've seen it on Twitter. <laughs> they were like, Arsenal, and he was like, no, 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 no. no. Bro, he's like, hell no. I, I, I want good team. I want good That's team. what I'm saying, <laughs> blood. Like, I can see MTE staying. They, they got Long Lady the other day, bro. They've still got PK, blood. Mm. It's PK plus one. He could one, be, but it? he could be the next PK. Yeah, but that doesn't matter but because he now. needs to be the now. Do you see what I'm saying? He can't be the next and then be chilling yeah. at Barca and coming on and that. Well, if he went he to Barca, to one play. thing would happen is someone would have to move Someone out. would have yeah. to leave, I'll take blood. him to you. And when, but, <laughs> bruv, we'll say, take him. Well, there you go. And that's what it <laughs> says. That tells you where we are. So for me, he's coming, yeah? And I think that's going to be the start of You're strong on that, man. You, you really... Bro, I watched the Dilitz in interview and he said... He did say, I want the challenge. He said, challenge. What, challenge? Barcelona's not a challenge, bro. bro. That could be a challenge of trying to nah. work myself nah, into nah, nah, the nah. Barcelona team Barcelona's as a challenge. Barcelona's not a challenge. But No, but it's Barcelona a challenge for his challenge. career because, like you said, he might not be guaranteed starting. So his challenge could be to try and displace Langley and yeah, 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 for a spot. Nah, or... Nah, nah, nah. A challenge, challenge of receiving the ball of Ashley Young and Phil Jones That's playing. That's what the challenge That's is. That's what challenge. the challenge is. The challenge ain't playing for Barca. Playing for Barca is not a challenge, bro. I don't care who you are. Uh, You're guaranteed a, a medal, at least one medal a season. No, but it's a challenge in your personal career. Look at Coutinho. That was a challenge. Can yeah, but not really. He's a centre-back, though, blood. And them man been playing centre-mid. But he's not guaranteed to play. Time. So, of course, it's a challenge. No, he's not guaranteed, but it's not really a challenge, bro. Because at the end of the day, yeah, he'll see it as I'm going to Barcelona, blood. That's it. Ain't no challenge, B. It's not. It's just like when you go to Real Madrid. Ain't really a challenge, bro. You're going to get yeah. a trophy. If oh. it don't work out, you can still go to another big One club. One thing we can definitely agree on is that coming to Man United is it's definitely It's the biggest a challenge in <laughs> football. <laughs> and that's why he's coming, blood. It's lit, bro. I'm telling okay. you, Okay, like. and the second part of that question, we're still on the same question. Mm. This one Bissaka thing, yeah, this is what I think, yeah. Pay the money. If it's 60 mil, you pay I, it, blood. Wait there. I'm going to be honest, Rans. Yeah, he's an upgrade. But I think there's better right backs. I'd rather the right back. I'd rather the, um, Pereira well, from Mooney, um, Mounier will cost 25 million. Thing. They're saying, and if he costs 25, and he's 27, and he gives Dallo, um time to improve, then I would. Then Mounier sounds like the right signing. Exactly. However, if we don't sign one Basaka, he ends up at Man City. Facts, blood, and we're fucked. Okay, I hear that. But even even that, I, I feel with one Basaka, I feel he's been gassed up a bit too much. He's very good. I don't going forward. I haven't seen him get bare assists. I haven't seen that. Nah, he doesn't defensively, get bare assists. But come defensively, on, he plays for Palace. Yeah, bro. I know, but still, Andy Robertson played for Hull, but you could see a bit yeah, more. Yeah, like, Robertson. You know what I'm but I see uh, my Sorry, man Robertson. running at players though
I would like him at the club, not for a 70, 80 million, but that's just what it's yeah, going to cost because he's young and English. 40, 50 I tops. think 50 is calm. Yeah, but I still think there's question marks over him that he might not answer. He might not. I could be proved wrong, but I haven't seen from him. He goes forward, he gets assists. He's amazing going back. I've seen a young prospect, prospectress, is that yeah, a word? A prospect. <laughs> it's, Thomas, it's a is young prospectress prospect. a word? No, You've a, gone yeah. to uni. A, <laughs> I've seen a young a, prospect. It's a young prospect. <laughs> Do you see like. what I'm saying? Like, I haven't seen the rubber stamp. Oh, yeah, 78 million. You're not going to get a rubber stamp here yeah, at saying. his age, though. You're not. Mm. Luke Shaw wasn't a rubber stamp when we signed him. He's yeah. still There's a potential rubber stamp there, 100%, now, which is why I'm saying 45. You know what I'm saying? I just think some people, not, not, not all, some people I've seen talk about him like he's fucking Cafu. Like he's. Nah, but do you know what I'm saying? Defensively, he's, defensively the, best, he's the best he's right better. back in the league. And going forward, he's positive. Yeah. He does go at his man. He dribbles. Yeah, he, I ain't seen a Trent Alexander in him. No, going but, forward. Trent, yeah, but, but Trent. But going back, he's suspect. But Trent crosses and that. But he dribbles. Like yeah. he dribbles and goes past yeah, players better than Trent. Yeah. Trent will get the ball out of his feet and whip it in. Trent's delivery is a one. Yeah. Do you know what I'm, I'm saying? But Wamba Saka will run at man, bro. Like the way Dallo runs at man. Do you yeah. see what I mean? So I like that. About okay, him. sign or not sign. And for what price? It depends. Like anything over fifty million, I'm not paying. Would that, you just bro. leave I'll it? I just get Mounier, bro. Yeah. Man United fan, twenty-seven mil. Like he will cost, you know what I mean? And he's and he's experienced. Fuck your business bro. nearly flew in our face, mean? bro. London. So London I would problems. sign Mounier, yeah, for um, if it's gonna cost us more than fifty million. Okay, let us know what you lot think on the Wamba Saka thing. I did do an Instagram thing where most people were obviously saying sign him, but it was very similar to what you're saying. Mm. Nothing over fifty million. Hold tight, Craig. Man, like Craig says, um, how many signing do you honestly think will sign? Um, and do you still think we have the attraction to sign? I think Big James players. will sign James plus four, I think. Okay. And I think we do have the attraction to sign ballers for sure, bro. At the end of the mm. day, man sign for the badge, innit? Don't matter who's in charge. And like, the money. And, yeah, but, yeah, <laughs> but, yeah, but they'll get money anyway. Do you know what I mean? Like the bottom line is, yeah, players tend to outlast the manager. So when you sign, you don't sign for the manager, really. You sign for the club, innit? Mm. It's that simple. You sign for the club first and then you yeah. buy into whatever the manager into what sells the manager to you. Sells yeah, yeah. To you. But yeah. if you're not feeling the club, yeah. You just don't sign in it. So I just don't want to see us offer it because you know there is a lot of talk about even the Rabiot thing. Do we give him? No, but they're saying they need, no, but they're saying that Rabiot's Rabiot has been offered 170, yeah. which is fine. Yeah. That's less than what Herrera got offered, bro. Yeah. And he's better than Herrera. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So like, we have to like, keep within that yeah. because we've obviously fucked it with the with the Sanchez thing yeah, when it's gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, get um, rid of Sanchez and Lukaku, and the wage bill looks a bit better. Yeah. Um, at United, when fame, Ron leaves, when. Well, we're on to, we're on, on to Lukaku right now. Yeah. At United Fame, good United account, make sure you check them out. Um, if Rom leaves, I'd buy wingers. Um, so Tony can play as a nine. Look at him under LVG. Yep. He was bagging for fun. He's statistically the most clinical finisher in the league. Facts. And his link up play is overlooked just because he doesn't run around like a headless chicken like some others. Facts. Thoughts. Brother, that's everything I've been saying. Anyone that's been watching Rance Red Talk on my, on my YouTube channel, yeah, that's exactly what I've been saying. I wouldn't buy another striker. I'd let um, Rom and Rashford, yeah, and, um, and Mason just circulate mm. for a season. I think if you've got wingers around them, yeah, you'll be given chances If you get wingers problems, that score goals right. and wingers that commit players, bro, yeah. do you know what I mean? I'd get Pepe on the left. Mm. I'd get another winger. Um, no, Pepe on the right, sorry. I'd get another winger on the left, bro, and mm. I'd just stick with the strikers I have. I'd get... Um, i definitely go for wingers. Let's see if we can offload Sanchez. Re offload Sanchez and Lukaku and bring in two wingers. Yeah. That's what I would do. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't, because we I'd don't say have Tony, any wingers. Just give Tony the nine back. Yeah, just give him back. <laughs> give him back the nine, brothers. His shirt. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because I think if you do play Tony up front for the whole season, he bags goals. There's a good blood. chance he's getting 20 plus. Yeah, for sure. Do you know what I'm sure. saying? He was, he was not far off that under LVG. Um, and, that, and even that was intermittent. He did play up front for the whole season. There, it was, there was a good patch where he just did. And when Rooney was injured and stuff like that, and then before Rashford came, and he was bins in it. Came in. So. Um, this this is the question I wanted to ask you now. This would be very interesting. And this is from Kadir Seven M. So hold tight for this, Kadir. Um, which trio in midfield would you rather have? The French flair of Pogba, Rabiot, and Ndombélé. There he yeah, is. I know that. Or right, Portuguese, Portuguese productivity. Bruno Neves. Felix Fernandez, Fernandez, um, Fernandez and Neves. Yeah. I'd, I'd prefer a mixture, I'll nah, be honest. No, nah, I wouldn't. You know what? I'd I'd have, I'd... I would have Ndombele, Pogba. Oh, Felix, and Neves, Felix, And Neves for the and balance. And Neves for the balance. But Felix and... would... I'd just put him... Jao Felix I'd, I'd is wavy, but three. the thing is, yeah... I'd put him off the left or side. Felix is wavy, but, 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 like... 
again, these men are playing in a league, yeah, where there's yeah, you question just don't mark. know, yeah, you don't you know. You see these men Nevis. in France, yeah? <laughs> that league is physical. Yeah. It's the closest to the Premier League outside of the Premier League. And Ndombele is an athlete. Pogba is an athlete, as well as being technically Definitely gifted. Pogba and Ndombele. You know them ones. We them agree two, on that, yeah. it? It's just which Portuguese one are you taking after that? Blow as well, yeah, blood. Like, I'm taking the athletes with the techers over the techered ballers without yeah. the pace and without anything. So you would you do a mix and you match? You have to factor in the Premier League. Yeah. Um, the pace. The, the pace. And the physicality. And the, yeah, the demands of the Premier yeah. League. That's what people don't bring in. Like Even yeah. LVG was saying the other day, he goes, yeah, I like the signing of Di Maria, but... He didn't fancy it, yeah. bro. When he got here and he realised how tough the Premier League was, he didn't want it, bro. Yeah. And that, you can't factor that in with a lot of foreign signings. That's why, if in doubt, I'm going for my physical bad boy ball. All three of them. Bro. All three of them. Okay, so it's the French Revolution. Them three's badding man up, bro. And then yeah. Tony as well, blood. And then yeah. cop your Griezmann as well, blood. Nah. You're right. You, 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 you got Mbappe on top of that as well, no? As yeah. well, get all get of them. Get Kante in as well. All of them, yeah, blood. Man, what's that French, French Revolution, bro? French Connection That's UK. That's what man needs, bro. <laughs> I'm telling you. French Connection UK, Um bro. This is one. Alex Ball, 1983, says, how about Leicester's Ricardo Pereira for right back? He's good. Yeah, yeah. He is yeah, good. And like that's what well. I like him, man. Um, when we played against them, he actually gave away the ball to Pogba when they scored. But then after that, mm. he was impeccable. And I watched him just throughout the rest of the season after that. He's quick, he's strong, he's good on the ball, he good can cross. He's a good player, so yeah. And that, what, 40 million maybe? But 35? this is what I'm saying, and that's so why. When, 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 man, overrate like our, million, when man overrate our players, I keep telling man, like, throughout the, throughout the league, you know, there's ballers at every team, yeah? But you think, bruv, you man are overlooking them. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's some good ballers, bro. Like, mm. that's why I think a lot of average players be getting Get over, overrated, yeah. bruv. 100%. Um, this is from Ravi Karma Shah. He says, what do you make of the comments by um, LVG on Woodward? This is a quote. Um, he has zero, and this is what um, LVG said about yeah. Ed Woodward. He has zero understanding of football. Facts. Um, as, he sl- <laughs> as he slams the way the club is run from a commercially driven perspective. It's facts though. The, the, um, Glazers brought Woodward in, yeah, to literally milk as much money out of the club as possible. That's why they brought him in. They brought him in, yeah, because man, man, man was an investment banker or something, or a broker. They brought him in to actually exploit the profile of the club in order to generate more revenue for them. That's why he, they were brought, that's why he was brought in. So why is anyone surprised? Mm. The only good thing now that I'm seeing is the fact that they've acknowledged yeah, that like, if we continue to not win, the value of the club's going to go down. So that's now what they're talking about, yo, sorting out recruitment properly and mm. taking it away from Ed Woodward. It's taken them time, but they're finally there. Mm. That's why I feel like this summer is going to be a bit more different, yeah? to previous ones, which is why I'm a bit more relaxed. Mm. Is because I feel like they've realised yeah, they've realised we, we can't, that, run like yo, we can't keep running yeah. like this because we're going to start losing money. And if it takes for them man to start losing money to do something, then so be it. Do you see what I'm saying? So, like, I'm all right with that, bro. Like, but I 100% agree. LVG is spot on, bro. He knows. He knows what Ed Woodward was about. And um, like, it was unfortunate for LVG that he come in at a time where the club was run like that, but it's not run like that no more, Absolutely. hopefully. Carlos 05 Nell says, <laughs> this is a really easy one. Should we allow De Gea's contract to run down or cash in on him now? Sell him, bruv. Sell him? Sell what him. are we Arsenal? You think we're just going to let his contract run down the, the, the arguably best keeper in the world? Maybe not right now in his current form, but Sell his top three in the world. Blood clots, Sell his blood clots. Sell his grass for 70, 80 million. We need all the money. And, we need all and, the money that we exactly. can get. Bro. And do you know what? If we sold um, um, De Gea on, on, that, on the De Gea thing, if we sold him for, he's going to cost what? At least 80 million and it's 75 so, yeah. upwards. If, if Alisson, if that's the benchmark, yeah. he's as good as, if not better than him. Yeah. Um, he's 75, 80. I wouldn't even necessarily buy a, a keeper straight well, That's away. exactly what I I think. would probably bring back Pereira on loan yeah, from his loan. He's probably come back, have him second. Or make them just alternate and see who fights it out to be the number one. I agree. Because that, that 75 million could go into our playing squad, bro. We need bro, it. But this is it. Because everyone's like, rah, 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 like, but, bro, I swear Leicester won the league with fucking Casper in goal, blood. You <laughs> can't tell me Casper's better than Romero. He's not, bro. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah, it's just yeah. one of them ones where, like, it's all about the team as a unit, yeah? Your goalkeeper's only as good as their defence. And that's just how it is. Yeah, and we, we've been lucky with that because mm. um, De Gea's defence has been shit and he's been peppered so many times because he's that good. Exactly. He actually just shines and makes a hell exactly. of a lot of sense. So if we saves. sort out the defence, yeah. we can get away with not yeah, with a Romero a worldy, worldy, worldy keeper. Like. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? We can Absolutely. get away with it. But the question is, Rance, if we sort out our defence, if we still got the likes of you, you still know still got who, the Chuckle Brothers, we're fucked. Then, then, then we're finished. This is an interesting question. Um, Double M from 224 says, 
How long will it take for us to be like Liverpool at the earliest? Ten years. <laughs> I wouldn't go that nah, far. Not, not ten years. Not I wouldn't go years. that far. However, it depends on um, recruitment. It depends on recruitment, yeah. and it depends on structure, innit? Yeah. Because Liverpool structure and their recruitment, it's taken them a while, bruv. Don't get it twisted. Earliest four years. Yeah, it's taking Liverpool time. And that's with the right recruitment. Yeah, innit? With the right three, recruit- four years. With the right recruitment, I don't think it. I, I'd say three with the right recruitment because mm. the advantage we do have over every other club is that our club is so attractive that if we start winning things again yeah it becomes even more attractive and then mm. we can literally get anyone mm. but right now we can get anyone because we'll have to pay them to come blood if we're winning trophies we won't have to be paying man to come mm. they'll just want to come in it true and last but no means least this guy uh says uh dennis volkov says could you please discuss Arsenal's Europa League defeat? Gladly, bro. <laughs> it was beautiful. It was beautiful, man. I've never seen anything quite like it. Um, it was so fitting, wasn't it? It was beautiful. Yeah. You see all the shit these men were talking. Epic shit before the game. The cocky bullshit. I saw the injuries. Even I, I was like, boom, Chelsea are going to beat them on pens. Remember I said yeah, you it? Did say and pens, then yeah. I saw the injuries to Loftus-Cheek, Kante doubt. And then I thought, you know what? They could lose this. That's when I started to get a bit yeah. weird, thinking, you know what? It's going to be cagey. Chelsea had other ideas. Chelsea well. did not read this. Even, the, even the little um, the pre-match thing where Sarri threw his hat, he was getting mad. Higuain had a thing with Louise, and it just looked like they were just... They chaotic. looked like they were, they were capitulating. You know what I'm saying? They didn't even need to win it because they got Champions League in the bag. They were yeah. capitulating. They had but injuries. That's exactly, Everything went in Arsenal's exactly favour. That, <laughs> that, that, that's exactly what that Pratt, Pratt said final. before the game. He was like, oh, we want it more than them. They've already got Champions League. The players League. look fresh. They've got nothing to the play for. The players look for. ready. Wow. What happened? Imagine bro? them when they're not looking fresh and ready. Bro, you man are shit. Do you know what I mean? Everyone was like, oh. Emery knows how to win the Europa League. Yeah, no, <laughs> Arsenal. You know what I mean? Yeah, not you here. You man can't win European trophies. Tin pot club. This is what it is. It was beautiful seeing you die, blood, and then seeing Giroud celebrating. And thanking you as well. Thanking Arsenal. Thanking you for changing his life. Because that's is what you've it. done. Allowing him to leave to go across the road um, to, uh, right. to, to South West London. The guy that was notching yeah, was, at your was, club was, and you got rid of him and then amazing. the way he took that header, beautiful header. That was a, that was a great header. No, the thing is and then he half celebrated out. and then half didn't. And then it was like, cool, <laughs> over to you, man. And Eden Hazard just started shelling And there was no the half celebrating on the, bu- on the bus, bro. No. <laughs> there was no half celebrating then. He fucking smashed that it in It was beautiful, bro. At I the enjoyed end of the every day, moment of it. And then I spammed Troops' yeah. fucking yeah. social media. He wouldn't even reply until Tottenham spammed lost the Champions League the final. Twitter then you see all spammed. of them. Instagram got spammed. Sent man viral all over the place. <laughs> and you but know, Troops wished that on himself. Because I didn't even realise Troops had done loads of videos saying... Bruv. Save this video. Save this I'm video. I'm giving you this. I'm giving you that. He's like, we're going to beat you wow. 4-1. We'll give you the one goal and that. He was talking the most crap. He's like, I'm confident. All this trash, you know. Yeah. Forgetting that it's still Chelsea that you're playing, you know. Yeah. And it's a cup final. When's the last time you've seen your team in a European cup final? Never, blood. And you're talking that smack. Oh, my Lord. This yeah, is what they, happened. They died a slow, painful death. But I think it's important. That's, we have that laugh and that banter. But we know we're not a good side. Like... This is but what we they, know when we were in the at. Europa League, we won it. Exactly. And when we won that's it, you were levels. like, it's only the fucking Europa Because what League. the Arsenal fans are doing is, yeah, but what final did you get to? Oh, but you finished sixth, but you spent more money than us no, and we no, finished no. above you. No, 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 no. You went to a European final and fucking bottled it again. We were in there and we won, bruv. That's all that matters. Yeah. And when we won, you said it didn't matter. You were like, oh, yeah, Tim Pot, <laughs> Mickey Mouse Cup. This, that, and the other. Where's yours? Where's your Mickey Mouse cup, bro? Man, we tried to go to Disneyland and the trip got cut short. You didn't even get on the Eurostar to get to Disneyland Paris. Get Pissed. the fuck out. Pissed. It's all about next season, man. We need to spend big and make sure we and do And we will, and you, man, will be spending your JSA money, bro. <laughs> That's what you're going to be spending. You're going to get two, two, three transfers, yeah? You know what I mean? And one marquee signing, yeah, that nobody else wanted. Imagine having to go to Poundland on a budget. That's it. <laughs> You know a shoestring saying? budget. Bare brown yeah, let, coins. Yeah, them, uh, them Arsenal man. They're the man who go to Poundland and ask, how much is this? <laughs> how much? Hey, fella, how much is this? It's a pan, mate. In Poundland. What about this one? It's a pan. What if I buy four? It's four quid, mate. That's you, man. Fucking penny pinching little bastards. <laughs> Listen, we've come to the end of the show. We've had a little laugh at the end of it. We will see what happens next season. It's finished for now, Rants. Um, hopefully, we get some signings over the line there are a little bit a few people panicking sort of saying oh what's going on bruv, i'm still quite relaxed i'm, I'm relaxed, relaxed. bro like we couldn't really sign no one until now anyway yeah. there's certain things like even the rabio thing yeah i think till july the first you can't sign for no one 
You see what I'm saying? So that's a problem because Oli wants yeah, them yeah, there, yeah, yeah. But it doesn't matter. Like, by, I think before July the first, this contract doesn't officially run out. Mm. So it's like there's certain things like that with players where they can't announce. Like even mm. the other things until the international breaks over. You're not yeah, going to see got no United, announcement. Yeah, exactly. The Nations League. As yeah, well, we're not so. going to see no announcement. So just chill, yeah. guys, bro. Just relax for another week or so, guys. Hopefully we have. We have some news to be coming on the Flex Around show saying, oh my God, we've got this player over the line, can't believe it. Let's talk about how he's going to fit into the system, etc. But we're not there yet. Rance, big up the socials. At Rance and Manson, Twitter and Instagram. Make sure you hit up the YouTube channel. Obviously, the fight vlog is out as well. You can do it, AJ. And Red Talk. You can do it, AJ. Uh, which AJ? Not, not last week. <laughs> not the AJ this week. Are you going to do it? Are you going to do it, AJ Ruiz? Not the AJ. Nah, hell no. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? But Just my, know, my head, mate, you get my tagged on my, the temple, that's my, it. My head's not going to be there to get hit, do you know what I'm saying? Okay. I'm not going to be fighting there, bruv, all stiff and that, no head. Preparing well, you feeling good? You I, know feel, I feel sensational. Okay. I feel sensational. I'm sparring tonight, I feel okay. great. You know um, I mean? Rance's details will be in the description below. Make sure you check out my socials, FlexUTD, across all of them. They will be there. Make sure you check out United Stand FC, yeah? Had another game, I'm not going to tell you the result. We, you've seen the Hackney Wick run, disappointing draw. Um, the game that we had against five guys will be up uh, probably in, the, in a couple of weeks, so look out for that. And also, man, make sure you check out our show on UFF, WTF, man. Um, we're still on location now, we just finished filming it. That is the place to find it, um, at UFF. Make sure you guys are following those guys as well so you can see our WTF moments. It's just basically a show talking about all the crazy shit that happens across the week in football. Your Sunday league, your memes, your kits, your boots funny stories, people losing, laughing at Arsenal, laughing at Liverpool whenever they lose, which was only once this year. <laughs> um, laughing at them not winning the league, because that's all we could do. But it's just a general place for all football fans from, from everywhere to just come and laugh at each other, man. That's what it's about. It's about having Banner with some love as well. We'll be back same time, same place next week. Make sure you guys check it out. Peace.